We received a call from the city of North Royalton regarding some large woody debris in the stream and we're meeting with the homeowner and taking a look at the stream and assessing any debris as well as any impacts to flooding. My property is on the east branch of the Rocky River. You can see debris coming down the river all the time. Big chunks of trees, small branches, and uh, we'd like to address the issue and see if uh, possibly get it cleaned up. If I had to say they'd bring a small uh, bobcat or track hoe type piece of equipment, uh, they'd leave it at the top of the bank. We don't want to access the channel uh, with the equipment uh, because of some regulatory uh, issues. So they'll use the bucket of the machine and a chain. And they'll manually cut uh, the wood into, into uh, sizable chunks and use the chain to pull it up the bank. We get calls from residents, from the cities. So we have uh, district staff going out and looking at assets mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis. And if they see any problems, um, we'll go out and take a look at the severity and make any recommendations. So we got a corrugated metal pipe. So what we typically try, we do an entire assessment of the pipe itself, but we pay a lot of attention to the invert of the bottom because they tend to get beat up by stuff coming downstream and they, they tend to rust out. What we noticed was there's a lot of uh, sediment or bed load material that's accumulated. I mean, overall, the, the barrel looks like it's in really good shape. We have some homeowner modifications that have taken place as they attempt to access the rear of their property. So over there, down there, you see some gabion baskets uh, that they installed to protect the bank. And as we typically see with gabion baskets that are placed below the water level, failure starts to occur with the metal basket rusting and giving way and the cobble within the wire basket ending up in the stream and um, not providing protection. Pouring concrete in the stream channel as shown here is never a good example. A lot of people think that by putting something really hard and solid like concrete in a stream will make it do what you want it to do, but water has a way of finding its way either behind or through a structure. So here you can see there's a big scour hole just on the downstream end of the concrete. So uh, the scour hole is um, taking away the soil uh, that was behind the concrete and supporting it.